You're very welcome back. Now, if you dread the thought of leaving your pooch at home when you set off on a summer holiday, then fear not. New regulations in Ireland have seen us become a more pet-friendly country, so you could consider bringing your four-legged friend away with you. Joining us now with the lowdown on dog-friendly holidays in Ireland is travel writer Thomas Braddock, and of course with Vip. Good morning, morning to you. Ladies. Hi, How's Thomas, nice and to hi, Vip. He's charmed us already. Just, Vip yeah, has this morning. Yeah, making mincemeat of that ball, but yeah. Now, Anna mentioned in her introduction there that the legislation has changed. Rules have changed for yes, dog lovers. I don't think the a lot of this came in kind of under the radar site at the start of the year and not a lot of people seem to kind of know about it that much but the Food Safety Authority have relaxed the rules about dogs in um, eating places in Ireland. So um, you weren't, before you weren't able to bring in any dog into a pub or bar or cafe um, but now you are allowed to bring in as long as they don't go into where the food prep, so the kitchen. So um, it's basically, they are allowed in, but it still remains at the discretion of the owner. Okay. So a lot of the times, even with this guy, I, I go into places um, nowadays and I might get, sorry, you can't come in health and safety. And I'm like, fine or or whatever, but it's not actually correct. You can, so... Uh, That's interesting. So it'd be worth calling ahead if you hadn't mind to go to a particular restaurant or cafe with your family. Absolutely, yeah. And even with um, beer gardens or if there's usually with open dining yeah, restaurants... Yeah, and you're better be off choosing open. those kind of exactly, outdoorsy yeah. venues, I suppose. And they I prefer suppose. them as well, so yeah. Of course, and it's yeah. better for the dog as well. Um, you've picked out some great locations around Ireland um, yeah. that are very pet friendly. So we're going to East Cork, first of all. Yeah, I think you have to start with, um, I guess, you need a, a, a hotel and a base first of all mm. and East Cork is kind of becoming quite a trendy uh, area and one of the, it's kind of you see that too and how it's becoming quite dog friendly so um, Castle Marta Resort and Ballamaloo are two good options for uh, dog friendly um, places there um, Ballamaloo interestingly does um, kind of the Airbnb style style there they are that's the house yes. so behind the house you have a beautiful country courtyard and they do um, kind of duckling cottages kind of traditional old um, converted uh, cottages and they're dog friendly you can bring they sleep two people plus the dog and they're 100 euros a night which is quite reasonable for um, Balamaloo so because you've access as well, to isn't it? yeah it's stunning and then Castle Marta Resort is kind of tapped into the more kind of dog friendly um, niche where they have a, a dog friendly kind of package you you you, you're, you charge you pay an extra 50 euro um, for your stay and then they get kind of um, their own little miniature or garden so they get garden oh. sized rooms which is great because the dog has access to a bit of it because I would have said Castle Marta is like a master class mm. in interior design oh, you it's like so it? beautiful okay, good, yeah. oh I think it's beautiful but I couldn't have imagined bringing a dog or seeing a dog yeah, running wild around the place yeah it's great they've always been pretty dog friendly actually and even they have a beautiful like a kind of um, night's bar they're kind of centerpiece bar and um, their tea rooms are you, you see dogs in there from time to time and this guy was allowed so um, and like those th those new regulations have relaxed that okay. so There's a big trust in place between the hotels and their customers their clients because if you're going along to a hotel and I suppose perhaps if you're not a dog lover it's also worth inquiring or making sure that there's an area that's doggy that's true. free. And sometimes, an I, mean, I think your, you most know, people are pretty open to dogs, yeah. but you will see a look from time to time. And I think um, uh, you should be aware also that a dog-friendly hotel, if you have an allergy or like like you yeah. say, if you're not into Which dogs. Which are the majority of people bringing their dogs, would be, the dogs would be very domesticated. Exactly. Yeah, very yeah, docile, yeah, anyway, yeah. I'd say. So I think dog owners, if He's you're going gorgeous, on, on a holiday with your dog, He's you're going to relaxed, be... very relaxed, yeah. He is, um, <laughs> He's I'm starting to think, to think he's coming down with something. He used to be bounding <laughs> over so the calm. couch here. So. He's beautiful. Yeah. So we're going to the River Shannon next. Yeah, another option, and this is actually more affordable than what you might think. Um, the River Shannon... Um, kind of one of those bucket list Irish... Have you guys ever yes. done? Yes. You've done yes. it? Okay, yeah. okay. So uh, it's great because um, Emerald Star, one of the, the operators who, who um, run out of the Shannon and they um, their cruise liners, or their, their, their cabin cruisers are all dog friendly. So you can bring along the dog and it's a great... Oh, there he goes. Uh, it's a great um, uh, dog friendly holiday because you're always on the move. You've access to water. He can wa They can watch birds all day. You're kind of mooring up at beautiful kind of um, uh, villages every evening like um, Terry, Gra uh, Terry Grass or um, that Wineport Lodge in in. It is Lockery a lovely idea, Athlone. isn't it, to arrive at a different place it, yeah, and it's see very so idyllic. many different yeah. locations. And yeah. um, breaks there come in at about 240 euros per weekend. That's three nights, 80 euros a night. And bearing in mind that some of those cabins, this is for a sixth berth, 
Um, so that's eight euros a night for four to six people, which is really reasonable. I always say if you're booking um, a, a cabin cruiser, like if you're four people, get a six berth because okay. then you, uh, you otherwise you have to um, convert the middle section, you know, the kitchen and the dining yes. area at night time, and that can get maybe a bit claustrophobic. Especially if you have a dog that size. If you have a yes. dog as well, now, yeah. Of course, dogs are extra members of families in many cases, and so people don't want to leave them behind. They want to have them on their adventure, but also kennels can be costly. The kind of kennels are, are, are definitely costly. And I think you've more peace of mind when they're with you. Nowadays, with things becoming a bit more open to dogs, it's kind of a, a win-win. So you have a lot more options. And uh, um, Can we move on to camping just before we go? Because I'd like to hear about this. This is also an option for well, dog yeah, lovers. It's, it's, it, it is. Obviously, if you're, if you're tenting, that's perfect because you can just pop them in the tent. And most campsites in Ireland are very dog friendly. But what's surprisingly unusual to find is um, a mobile home in Ireland which can be dog friendly because usually um, they can be a bit more concerned, the operators, in terms of um, cleaning costs and so on. Mm -hmm. So, um, uh, Fossa Caravan Park in Killarney. They... Look, we're seeing footage <laughs> now. If you can see Lisa. <laughs> So Vip has taken a shine to our floor manager, Lisa. You can't take him home, Lisa. His eyes are closing. For, He's so for, happy. For a 50 euro surcharge, <laughs> you can. Uh, but uh, yeah, Fossa Car from Park and Clarny have um, a dog-friendly mobile home, and that's only 50 euros a night. So it's almost, if you have a dog, you'll save money by staying there. Now, sure. their mobile homes that are dog-friendly tend to be not quite as like swanky as the other ones. Okay. They're kind of older models, but they're still, I mean, I think if you're often a dog owner, you just want to get away with the dog and... You'll, you'll kind of... Oh, you'll be delighted you'll to bring them along, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. It's 50 euro a night for Killarney, which okay. is very reasonable. Loads of lovely options mm -hmm. there. Isn't there? Yeah. yeah. Brilliant. And we'll put all the de details up on the Facebook page Fantastic. as well, Thomas. Yeah. Thank Sounds you. Good. It's Thanks a pleasure.